Hey guys, it's your boy Kurt Pierce, and welcome to the Perm Review. Oh, first off, congratulations, Man City, on your third Premier League title. I'm just getting it out of the way because, let's be honest, they're already champions. Let's be honest here. Let's be honest. Arsenal have already lost again. Chelsea have already lost twice. Which Liverpool have lost the game, game and now and Man I have lost the game. It, there's no City are not gonna lose the game. I'd be surprised if they didn't if they even dropped any points. They could go all season unbeaten at this rate. And I'm like, okay. Well that's that's that that's over. Yeah. Sue. Sue, 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 Sue. Um, let's go over the results. Um, Arsenal beat Newcastle 1 0. Uh, Coachini own goal was the only goal. Um, it was a, it was a mad result. Uh, Newcastle were really behind the eight ball as soon as. Mitro, he got himself sent off, um, which uh, doesn't exactly bowl well for for Newcastle. Well, well, if you're from that part of the of England, you're not gonna want to look at the Premier League table because at the moment, Sunderland are bottom, Newcastle are right there, um, and uh, yeah, it's not exactly looking good. And again, I would happily trade a 1-0 loss for the result Liverpool actually got. But uh, I'll get to that in a moment. Let's talk about the next game, which is actually the other team from Newcastle, and that is Sunland. And their two-all draw with Aston Villa. Scott Sinclair scored two goals. And I'm like, wait, he still plays football? <laughs> I didn't even know he played for Villa. I didn't even know he moved to Villa. I really didn't. Um, so yeah. Scott Sinclair. That's that's still a thing. Uh, Lenz and Villa scored some of his goals. So, uh, Sunland, second point. And second point in a row, isn't it? Because they drew last season. I mean, they drew. I'm sure they true last season. They couldn't have gone all season without a draw. Or if they did. Well, you know, that, obviously. Um, if they did, then, um, you know, we got to get the hook up. Uh, I, mean, I mean, they they drew last weekend. Was that the week before? Uh, I'm not sure. I'll, uh, I'll uh, look into that. But yeah. Two all draw um, must be disappointing for Villa when you're, you're drawing against a team that's bombed at the table. Oh. Um, four points from four games for Villa, averaging one um, a game, um, which might not be good if they do that all season. They'd end up with 38 points. Nah. Every season, teams that want to survive aim for that magic 40, which seems to be the toll where if you get to that, you're you're good. You won't get really good. Um, so, um, and Villa are one of those teams that this season people are fearful that they might get relegated because they lost Benteke and Delve. But going by the pool's result. Benteke, not a big loss. Again, I'm fixating on the pool's result. I will get, I will uh, be ample, oh, angry about that. And sorry about that. Alright, um, where was I? Oh yeah. 
I was just saying, I'll be yeah. I would be uh, more than happy to vent for for 20 minutes about Liverpool's results once I get to that match. So uh, let's fix it on Leicester City's draw with Bournemouth, shall we? Um, Nurgle for Cal Wilson, uh, who uh, seems to be continuing his good form from the previous week's hat trick against Aston Villa and hang on a second. Okay, they show. This is, and uh Lester still uh, still um still unbeaten, aren't they? So yeah. There's that. Yeah, let's go from a team that is doing unusually well to a team that is not. And no, we've not come to Liverpool yet. We've come to the reigning Premier League champions who after four games have only four points. And have lost a second match. A second match in four games. And I'm like, wait, is this Chelsea? Are, are we still, are we, are we talking about the Premier League champions? Chelsea lost 2-1 to Crystal Palace at Stamford Bridge. Both Chelsea's defeats this season have been to teams who were blue. Who, oddly enough, because Crystal Palace... While, yes, they were blue and red, they still were blue. And, of course, they lost to Man City. Now, this is probably the only upside for Chelsea. Falcao has scored more goals for Chelsea he, in one game than he did all that. Season for Manchester United, so there's that. That that's the only up point I can think of for Chelsea. Um, oh wait, um, there is that. There's always next season to get back the Premier League title. Um, So yeah, don't be uh, don't be too disheartened by this because you're not the only team who suffered a a loss they'd rather forget about, and this brings us unfortunately to Liverpool. So let's look at them. Let's look at the match, shall we? So, we were 1-0 down inside 3 minutes. Within a half an hour, we were 2-0 down. Then, in the 52nd minute, bizarrely, one of the least likeliest players to ever get sent off, a player I he would never figure as someone who might get sent off for 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 anything Philippe Coutinho got sent off, and I'm like, wow, that that sums up the game. But here's what else sums up the game. 13 shots. One on target. One! 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 Christian Benteke was how much? Three two and a half million. Didn't freaking pay that back quickly, is he? He, he, no. 
13 shots. I don't know how many been taken out. I didn't actually see the match. But 13 shots. You think they will put at least one in? Hell, at least get some more than one on freaking target. Well, yes, West Ham had 12. At least they had five on target. Three of which they scored. The last goal was from Dan Psycho, but that was in the 92nd minute when it didn't really matter. Or, or, or West Ham at the three points in the bag anyway. And I'm like, what the fuck happened? What the fuck happened? I am really confused. I do not know what happened. Brendan Rodgers needs to sit the team down and, and yell at them for about half an hour. Or better yet, ask me to come over because I have a lot to say to that team that they should listen. And well, yes, West Ham did be us 3 0. They deserve it. Good for them. You know? Oh, should be losing 3 0. If we're serious about challenging for top four this season, but this cannot happen again. Our next match is yeah. Manchester United. Well, before today, I would have thought, oh, fuck. But. I'll get to United's result in a minute, and why I'm just thinking, huh, they'll probably just be us and get it over with. It probably won't be a massacre. So, there's that. Let's move swiftly on, because I think if I talk about Liverpool anymore, I might just kill someone. And, uh, yeah. And then we come to well, the new Premier League champions because no one is going to fucking catch them at all. Nope, nope. Saying it now, Man City have won their third Premier League title. Oh, oh, for the hefty price of like 200 million, that financial fair play um, rule where you can only spend a certain amount that you've brought in. Doesn't matter. Cap 32 million. Doesn't matter. I know it was lifted, but that was obviously stupid because Man City were like, right, who shall we sign? Ryan starting 49 million. Thank you very much. I'll take that. Fabian Delph. What for? It was 8 million. Thank you very much. Kevin De Bruyne. Hey. Matter worked for Manchester United, why not the Bruin for us? Boom. And Otamendi and that youngster they signed from Fulham. I don't even know his name, but they spent a lot of fucking money on him. I'm just like, can we get these fuckers banned from transfers for a season? Barcelona are banned from signing players. There's Man City have spent like 200 million and have pretty much won the title already because they spent it at all. Oh, they're like, thank you very much. Can I take that price tag off? Oh, we don't want people to know we bought it. And they're like, no, they're, they're going to know by just looking at who you signed and how much you paid for them. And while yes, Raheem Sterling did score from Man City, he, he will obviously be very pissed off because now Kevin De Bruyne will be taking his spot because there is no freaking way Sterling is better than De Bruyne. He is not. De Bruyne is ten times better. And also, Manchester United should write a very nice note to Man City saying thank you very much for signing De Bruyne you've just made sure we will get through the group stages which, and you might so thanks a lot Man City is nothing because you have all the money you don't really need anymore that's pretty much the results um, actually that's not 
all the results. Uh, West Brom defeated nine man Stoke City 1 0. Britannia, uh, Rondon got his first goal, whereas Charlie Adam and Athelai were both sent off. Um, Spurs and Everton drew nil all. Oh, and that is Saturday. His results covered. Let's move on to Sunday, shall we? Where we go straight to St. Mary's. And uh, another red card in the first game. And he was so, which led 10 men Norwich to be defeated 3 0 by Southampton. Pella and Tadic getting the goals. Tadic got a double, which fires Southampton into 10th position. Mm, which must be a relief for Southampton because they probably were like, oh shit, we've started pretty much the same as Chelsea. We gotta win. <laughs> and and then we go to the Liberty, where her uh, weight was on my shoulder. I'm like, oh god, we're gonna fucking be destroyed by Manchester United when we play them. Oh! Oh. It won't be that bad. They'll still be us, but it won't be that bad. So yeah, even despite one matter putting Manchester United ahead just after the half, just in, just after the start of the second half, a quick fire double from A. U. N. Gomez led Swansea to win 2-1. So in summary. Arsenal and Man City were the only big teams that won this weekend, but Man City were the only ones who really deserved it. Arsenal just kind of got lucky. He, he, and for Arsenal fans, hate, hate, at least you won, we didn't. And you're above us, so, you know, yeah. So, what can we take away from this week's Premier League week results? We can take away Manchester City are going to win the title. The top four will probably be City, United, Arsenal and... Um, I want to say Liverpool, but after losing 3-0 to West Ham, we don't deserve top four. We need to smash Man United if we're going to be continue to be realistic about that. But without Coutinho and off the back of a 3 0 loss, I won't be holding my breath. So, yeah, so good. Well done, Manchester City. Your, your run of winning the title every two seasons is, is continued. So, there's as that. Um, I'm not sure why you win it every two seasons. Maybe you'd like to. Maybe you'd like to retain it next season. Which we may as well just start next season now. Um, be honest, because otherwise we'd be just waiting for the inevitable, and Man City are gonna be the winners. So yeah, good weekend for Man City. Not so much for Liverpool. Brendan Rodgers, you better fucking fix this, or else, because. There are two people who are still very much interested in your job. Me and Jurgen Klopp. One of us will get it. You can be sure of that. And if you don't... ...book up and come back after this loss, then... 
it'll be sooner rather than later. Until next time, this has been the primary review. I've been poor appears. Congratulations, Man City. Premier League Champions 2015-16 season for the FD price of like 200 million. It's cheap, isn't it? Yeah. So that's nothing. I, I'm dropping 200 million here on the floor as I'm talking to you people in your big pockets. So, yeah. Peace.